What's going on guys? Sean Pierce here at my new studio, The Body Shop in East Brunswick, New Jersey. If you're watching this video, you want to learn about ear piercings. The biggest misconception about ear piercings, okay? The places at the mall, the most popular places that do it with a gun. Absolutely, hands down, worst way to ever do a piercing. You should never ever get it done with a gun. It causes too much trauma to your tissue. It's actually not a proper piercing. A piercing is supposed to be a hole that is made in the skin to allow for the jewelry to sit in. All they do at the mall, they just puncture your skin and push the skin apart, which most of the time a lot of people will get a little bump inside of their ear because the tissue that moved to the side where the jewelry is sitting has no place to form, so it forms into a little bump. So today we're gonna do a double cartilage. Okay, I'm gonna show you the proper way to measure it and the proper way to do it. It's a very, very simple piercing, okay? And it's really not that painful at all. First thing you wanna do, of course, Put on some gloves. Also, guys, this video is for educational purposes and training purposes. Do not try to do this at home by yourself. This video is for people that are learning to be body piercers or are body piercers and want to learn different techniques. Um, but do not try this at home because you could you could mess yourself up pretty bad. First thing we're gonna do is swab her ear. Okay, just like that. Front and back. We're going to give that a second to dry. Now, with this piercing, okay, or with any ear piercing, the angle in which you put that needle in is crucial. If you go on a different angle, okay, or an improper angle, the jewelry is not going to be facing forward. The whole idea of these piercings is for when people look at you that they could see the piercing, not with it being facing that way or facing down. So, let's mark them real quick. As you can see, those are good enough marks. You want to make sure you have enough space so the jewelry doesn't clash together. Get just a little bit of the petroleum jelly. Now, as far as the different types of jewelry to use, Kaflon starting earrings are hands down the best ones to start with. Okay, when you use these, you're gonna go ahead and get yourself a 17 gauge needle. Okay, the jewelry will slide right in the back. Just like that okay makes it very very quick make sure you put a cork behind put the tip of the needle right there make sure the needles nice and straight and aligned with their face big breath in big breath out that's it very simple we're gonna put the back on with the back now Kaflon earrings are made to be extra long to allow for the ear to swell so when you put the backing on, as you can see the backing, you just want to get one click, just like that. There's plenty of room for the ear to swell, okay? So now with the double, we got to make sure that we go in on the exact same angle, okay? Otherwise, they're not going to look proper. Again, you're going to slide it right in the back, just like that. Hold the needle just like that. Hold your finger to the top so you can just push it right on through. Big breath in and big breath out. Good job. We're gonna do one click. There you have the double helix. Okay. As far as aftercare, aftercare with this piercing is very, very crucial. It takes a long time for cartilage to heal. It's gonna take at least nine months. So you need to make sure you, you tell your clients or the people you're piercing the proper aftercare. You want to wash it once a day with Dove sensitive skin, a nice mild soap. You want to get yourself. Neil Meds piercing aftercare solution. Get the fine mist. It's a lot. It's gentle on the piercing. It's a nice mist. You also cannot sleep on this side for at least a month or two. You can't put any kind of pressure on this piercing. If you do, your ear is going to swell up. Your ear. You need to let these people understand that your ear it lacks blood flow. Blood flow is needed to heal a piercing. If you sleep on that side, you're cutting off the circulation and it's not getting the blood flow it needs. So when you do get up and you get the pressure off your ear, all the blood run, rushes to that area very quickly because it hasn't gotten blood flow and it swells up. So you gotta make sure you tell these people that they cannot sleep on that side. Be careful with the masks, be careful with your hair, make sure it don't get caught. You gotta really take care of this piercing. 
Do you have any questions? I always answer questions from my subscribers and from my followers. If you have any questions or concerns at all, you can DM me on Instagram at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care. I had to change the scene cause my life just like move. Bitch, in the streets turn to a fighter, I got you. Bitch, jealous, hating on.